Yalon. Um, um, I'd like to say uh, to tell a story regarding uh, the Babasali. This story involved the Babasali. Um, and again, Moshe, um, I knew him through mutual friends, and I used him like um, my guide to this uh, kind of um, events. Uh, the story starts with a good friend of mine that I work with him. He's a Moroccan, a very dear friend. Um, and um, he asked me one day to come over to his office and um, get a check, a job that I did for him. Um, he was like kind of um, um, in a good mood and he was like, um, uh, I'm looking for the word, um, joking and kidding about the kibbutznikim, the, the, the guys from the kibbutz, Israeli kibbutzim, that they don't believe in nothing. And are uh, you the kibbutznikim, uh, you eat pig and stuff. And uh, since I was in his office, um, not his office, but the office that it was, there was a, um, it, it was a picture of the Baba Sali. I thought to myself, um, and again, I won't, be, I won't dare to say what I said at the time, and I was like joking to also, and I was like, and you are the Moroccan, you believe in the Baba Sali and, and, and your BS and stuff. And again, this is nothing to do with what I said at the time that I won't dare to say it again. And uh, he looked at me like, in, uh, in, be careful, the Baba Sali is going to punish you. And uh, ah, big deal, you and your uh, beliefs and, 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 and uh, I don't know, uh, I won't dare to say whatever I said at the time. Um, anyway, I said bad stuff. Um, to make the story short, I went back home and um, he gave me the check. I back, went back home and um, at the evening I was already sick. A terrible headache, high fever. And um, when one thing happened at the time, you don't uh, make the conclusion, you don't tie the knots, nothing. Um, it starts with I'm sick, and I remember uh, taking uh, my dog Roger outside. He was a nice cocker spaniel that I had for a long, long time. He left. He left. He lived long. Well, I'm gonna um, uh, tell the story. Uh, I took him out to do his stuff before I'm going to sleep, and I'm very, very sick. I felt bad. I headaches, high fever, and I'm going out, and I'm like looking at my dog, and I'm happy that he's okay, and. Throwing, throwing him the ball, he used to be a freak running after the ball, throwing the ball again and again. And he ran after the ball and I, like he stepped on something. And I was, uh, so I pick him up, I'm looking at his feet and everything is fine. Um, but he was limping and didn't feel very well. I mean, he just was limping. I took him back home, went to sleep. Saturday morning I'm waking up and the dog just doesn't move. Uh, I try to move him, uh, pick him up, the dog is like laying on the floor, doesn't want to move. I remember me crying because the people saw me on the elevator crying, carrying my dog outside to do his stuff. He could barely walk, I put him on the floor, he was like limping and barely doing his stuff and I went in panic. Saturday uh, I looked for a vet. I uh, went to a vet in the valley and the vet told me, look, your dog um, has a, a disc, um, d dislocate um, um, link, I don't know how you said, dislocate uh, his back and give him this medicine and you're going to be lucky if after a month he's going to walk. And he was like, look, there's no reason to make a, a, a rentgen. Um, there's no reason, but I because it's very expensive. But you know what? Take another opinion. I took him to another opinion, and it was a Chinese doctor. And again, he gave me. He tell me, look, I give you this pill. Give him for a month, and if after a month he feels good, we'll see what we do with it. And I came all crying, all sick with a sick dog. I came back to the house and um, tried to think what what went wrong. You know, one thing after the other goes wrong, and what what can I do? And then of course I'm like, okay, just a second. I cursed the Baba Sali. I said very bad things about him. And I got sick. My dog got sick. 
It's not gonna help, it's not gonna be bad, it's not, there's no bad in asking Moshe <laughs> if there's any connection to connect the dots. And Moshe told me at the time, Yelon, you, you, you did a very, very bad thing because A, you're not supposed to say a bad thing about nobody. Uh, you're not supposed to nobody except uh, uh, on top of that, not about the Baba Sali, which is a, have a very, very strong power while he was alive and still have very, very strong powers until today. And, uh, Moshe, what should I do? I did the mistake. What should I do? Um, so it's like, well, you, do you have a, a mezuzah, kshira, like a kosher mezuzah in your house? And I was like, no, I just once put a plastic there, like I bought someplace a plastic mezuzah, but I don't think is Well, find a, 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 a mezuzah kshira and, and put, a, a put it on your house. Of course, not in Shabbat. Wait for the Shabbat to finish. So find yourself a mezuzah and put uh, the mezuzah and then put your hand, put a kippah. Of course, you have to do the blessing for the mezuzah. And after you do that, please put your hand on the mezuzah, put the kippah on your head and ask for forgiveness with all your heart, ask for forgiveness from the Baba Sali. Which I did, I had another friend, uh, um, a good friend of my Shlomo, he's like, yeah, no, I have a mezuzah kshirab for you, yeah, I just, this is a great occasion, you're a good friend, and I have this mezuzah kshirab, and I put it in your house, as soon as the Shabbat is going to um, end. As the Shabbat end, my friend, Mosh, uh, my friend uh, Shlomo came over with the mezuzah, he helped me, we said the right bracha, and we put the mezuzah, I put my hand on the mezuzah with a kippah and I asked for forgiveness from the Baba Sali. Again, I was sick and my dog still on the floor, he didn't, uh, he didn't want to, he still didn't move. I have to take him out to, to do his things. I went to sleep all half crying, half whatever, hoping for a better day tomorrow. And uh, the day tomorrow came and I opened my eyes and my dog like in front of my face with a ball in his mouth ready to go to play. And I'm like, Roger, Roger, just, just a minute. And I didn't want him to move that much because I was afraid he's gonna dislocate his back again, but the dog didn't care about nothing. And he's like, with the ball, I hide the ball. I didn't want him to run after any ball. Um, but he went outside walking, running. I felt like I was never sick myself. And, um, and um, again, I was like in the beginning, very, very cautious about my dog. Don't, don't, don't run, don't move. Until I realized, it just like like the weight came, it just it just passed away. Just like there was nothing there anymore, and he was running, jumping, everything, and I'm all like happy, like you know. I hope this. I'm just waiting for this to to put this behind me, and I'm all happy, and I'm uh, supposed to meet them. Um, so that's um, again, you can say one coincidence, another coincidence, and another coincidence. I'm going to go for the next, the next uh, part of the story because it didn't end there. The next uh, Monday I was supposed to meet another friend of mine and get a check from him um, for a job that I'm doing. I'm, again, my, my name is Yalon, I'm an electrician, I'm here for 20 years, I came from Israel 20 years ago. So I had to meet, like electrician, I get a lot, a lot of people uh, giving me checks I and mean, they're supposed to pay me when I'm done with my work. So I went to meet this friend and I was like, let's meet in um, uh, Starbucks on Ventura. And the one that came to my mind was the one on Ventura and, um, and um, um, there's a Starbucks on Ventura and the Coldwater Canyon, uh, not too far from Coldwater Canyon. And I went to visit him there, to, to see him there, but I guess he went to another Starbucks. But while I'm drinking coffee in, in Starbucks, Another friend that I didn't see for like about seven or eight years, I didn't see him. A very good friend of mine, we used to be very, very close. He was another salesman from another company, he came over, hi, how are you? And again, I don't want to say his name because he asked me very, very, he was very, please, Yelon, don't say my name and in a minute you guys understand why. So how are you? Um, um, how, how time is treating you? Um, I got divorced, <laughs> I got separated from the mother of my son. And he was like uh, having a good, he just opened a company, everything was working very good for him. And then the other friend came over uh, 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 calling me and he went to another Starbucks in um, Ventura and Coldwater or something like that. And he decided to uh, join us. He came over to join us. Ah, I believe my friend Shai, uh, this is my friend, again, I don't want to say his name. 
and uh, meet each other. Oh, how are you? I open the com- 